serious when did COVID-19 get real for you? When we were pulled in by management and told that a, all non-essential research was stopped. B. COVID-19 research would be started in the next two weeks and C. Asked to fill out a form detailing a full range of expertise for potential redeployment. It was quite a stark wake up call two weeks ago. Edit, autocorrect still hasn't learned the word COVID. Instead wants me to research Raven's ETC in work. So. What can you tell me about crows, jays, ravens, and magpies? My autocorrect still doesn't like typing COVID. About a month or so ago, when my hospital converted a ward into a negative pressure unit in anticipation of our first patient from one of the cruise ships, we are still changing related procedures and protocols almost daily and propping other wards to accept patients with pending tests. Same here. Walking into work every day having no idea what to expect. When my first patient tested positive and I realized I had been in that room without PPE. At my hospital a bunch of nurses were exposed to a positive patient and fear being required to still come into work. I can't wait to catch it from one of them. Hey my hospital is doing the same thing. Admitted a patient last week that was tested a few days after he got here. About 15 of us are being watched but still required to come to work. Hell. One of our RTS was symptomatic, but OCC Health cleared him over the phone and told him to come to work. Strong work by the US healthcare system here. When my boss told me that I will be working from home for 8, 12 weeks edit, yes, I cold been laid off. The question was when it got real. Not what's the worst things to come from it, though. This is pretty bad for me. As I have treatment resistant depression that I manage by staying active and busy. My boss told me today in a meeting that we can conservatively expect this for the next 4 to 6 months. I was whoa, 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 what? Not what I wanted to hear dude. Apostrophe. I work for a large company that is notoriously against letting people work from home. They send out an email Sunday telling everyone to come back up their entire desk, screens, docking stations, etc. And take it home, so we can work from home. They said this will likely go on for 6 months. The thought of being stuck in my house for 6 months straight is not as exciting as I had thought it would be. My cousin got sick, was admitted to the IQ, and tested positive for it. He's been out of the hospital for a few days, but hasn't really improved, he just hasn't gotten worse. I texted with him a bit, and it's still really serious, he has asthma as well. I guess it was only a matter of time before it affected somebody I know. Edit, thank you so much for all the well wishes, I will pass them along. To answer the most frequently asked question. My cousin is 34. Edit 2, has based in Mick. As a fellow asthmatic. I wish your cousin all the best. Knowing how shit just the flu can be for me, I can't imagine how detrimental COVID is on the lungs. I wish him the best recovery possible. As a fellow fellow asthmatic, I'm terrified of getting it because it's a respiratory infection and that shit hits people with asthma hard. Also sending my thoughts to you plus your cousin. Driving during rush hour and having the freeway to myself. TX. My parents drove home on I-35 from San Antonio to Hillsborough this past Thursday. They left at 3 p.m. Stopped at Bucky's. Driving through Austin in just 20 minutes going 80 to 85 the whole way. And stopped in to say hi at me at work at 6.15. A drive from home, an hour south of Dallas, to slash from San Antonio on an average weekday, is a 4 to 5 hour drive. They made it home in just over 3. The roads are that empty right now. When in the space of an hour the NBA got cancelled, Trump banned all travel to and from Europe Tom Hanks announced he had it. That made me go. Oh. Pretty sure that was the Friday before the stock market completely tanked. Could be wrong though. The days are blurring together. I spent all weekend watching the news and realized this is going to be a months long thing. The NBA season was cancelled on the night of Wednesday. March 11th and I think most people heard about it Thursday. Stocks had already fallen 19% by the 11th. But that's when the insane volatility began with the Dow swinging back and forth like crazy by thousands of points, more down than up. 
of course. Even today it shot down by 800 points, then bounced back to even an hour later, just to drift down by 600 again. That's pretty abnormal, and that's one of the tamer days recently. For reference, in recent years it's been rare for it to move by 250 plus points in a day, with most days seeming to average about 100 to 150 points, sometimes less. When I was told by the administration that we had one box of N95 masks in the hospital, okay that's pretty scary, removed. When I realized that if my mother, who is 70 but generally healthy, falls ill, I can't get to her because that would involve air travel. Even if you are near you can't get to her. My mother was just admitted to the hospital, not for covered reasons. I can't visit her. Terrified of fussy don't think people realize that. If you get it and aren't lucky, it will have been the last time you ever see anyone you love again. When I lost my job. Sorry to hear mate. A lot of people in the hospitality and tourism industry are losing jobs. Half my friends are now concerned about what will happen moving forward. Bills. Rent etc. I hope it does get better quicker so everyone can go back to normal. Here's hoping April is better for the world. I work for an entertainment company. They were kind enough to give everyone a little bit of extra sick time, but are evaluating what to do in a week. I don't know what to do if I lose my job. I don't have enough experience to get another job in my current career, and I can't compete with those that have already been laid off. Everything in my life seemed to be on track. And in one fell swoop everything was taken away from me. My job is only one of my concerns. I honestly don't what else to do other than drink until I forget what's happening. When I was on next door and saw that people are posting which grocery stores of food. I wasn't blind to anything. I was taking it seriously and all. But that was the moment where I realized holy shit. We are currently in a world where people have to post which grocery stores have food. Yup. And it happened so quickly. It's so hit or miss though. I live in a big city. And food has been hard to find for a couple of weeks. I went to Costco today. And they had pretty much everything. When the whole country of Italy was put on lockdown. That should been a wake up call for the world. To take it deadly serious. Even for countries. Where it has become a problem. And is trending towards what Italy is experiencing. It's not being taken nearly as seriously as it should. People seem totally unable to really empathize with things that seem to be happening far away. It's not even that. Look at the Florida beaches. Thousands showed up for spring break stating that they had planned on this for months and they are healthy, so they will be fine. It's not about you being healthy and making it through. It's about trying to not give it to your grandparents. I have worked in investigation slash security for 8 years and was always told we can never work from home. Reason being we have access to millions of individual sensitive data and they didn't want to risk it being stolen. 2 weeks ago they bought hundreds of laptops and sent us all home to work. This is mine. I work for a payroll company, one of the largest. They just sent 4000 employees home. We were asking for it, demanding it actually, and then they did. I woke up the next morning and looked at my sleeping kids whose school is cancelled for the rest of the year and just felt panic sitting. I'm thankful I have a job, but goddamn am I scared. Rest of the year, here in Georgia, you sir, I'll be out till at least the week of 4 over 12. I wonder if it'll even die down by then. When I went grocery shopping for the first time in several days last week, and many of the shelves were completely empty. Same here. That was about 10 days ago for me. I got home and checked confirmed cases in my state, Pennsylvania, and there were around 20. Then next day it was in the 40s. Then the 60s. Today has been a week since we had around 67 cases statewide. We have 650 now, so shit's getting realer every day. That was me around the same time. I had a bit of an existential panic last weekend as my job is considered essential and had gone to the grocery store for regular shopping and seen how panicky it all was. My husband works in a school so he had already been told he would be not working for two weeks at minimum but it didn't really hit me how real it all was until I was at the store and saw things just gone. 
I had a vacation pre-planned for this week, so I feel much better this week than last since I'm home. But I don't know how I'll feel next week when I go back. When I realized I might slash should not be able to go home and see my elderly parents, one of which recently got diagnosed with cancer. Edit, thank you guys for the heartwarming messages. I don't think I'll be going back to my hometown, but I will for sure be facetiming and calling and doing whatever I can. I called my parents sobbing because I was scared I wouldn't get to see them again. Tell your family and your friends that you love them, regardless of their health. Take care everyone. And know we got this, and it'll pass over in no time. Much love from Seattle. I went and saw my mom, 79. Recent cancer survivor, on the 11th. On a whim. Because I had an errand in her neighborhood. Dad was at work. So I knew I wouldn't be able to see him. And I couldn't stay along, but wanted to see her, and hug her. Because it was starting to look like shit was about to go downhill and I knew I shouldn't visit after that. I probably shouldn't have even gone then. But I hadn't seen her in a month, and didn't know when I would again. It was that day or the day after, that our governor called for schools to close. And we've been mostly holed up at home since. Anyway. I'm rambling but I guess the short version is, that I'm in a similar position. After thinking we might lose her last year, I'm afraid of what this year might hold. Good luck to you and yours. I hope you see them soon, and toast to everyone's health. My girlfriend is a wildlife virologist. When she started constantly reading articles during her free time, maybe mid-February or so, I realized it was the real deal. When cases popped up a few miles from my elderly, immune-compromised father's home, I started being truly scared for him and others. I'm immune-compromised right now and started getting spooked when the supply hoarding started. But once I couldn't get a delivery time for groceries, I got really freaked out. I did manage to get groceries with the help of some friends. But it was an anxious few days. Once my city went on quarantine, I started to feel safer. I have to go the doctor on average twice a week. So knowing there aren't a million people on the streets is a comfort. It's eerie, though. I'm also immune compromised and got scared when I saw Walmart grocery pickup slash delivery didn't have any times available for delivery and only schedules two days out for pickup. Not sure if you're using Walmart pickup, but I learned that you have to look on their site on 12am and grab a time immediately. That's literally why I'm up right now. When Ireland closed the pub shortly before street. Patrick's day. When Austin cancelled SXSW. When Houston cancelled Houston Rodeo. When Walmart stopped being open 24 over 7. When Walmart offered 2 to 30 weeks paid sick leave for all employees was pretty indicative. 2. They did what? When? When my colleague died. She was the first covered 19 death in our state. I had seen her a few weeks ago and she was doing great. And then I received a company-wide email that she had passed. Damn dude that's scary. If you don't mind me asking. How old was she? She was in her early 60s. She had children late though, so her daughter had just graduated high school. I feel terrible for their family. Today, when the government announced they're going to start putting the dead in a skating rink inside a local shopping mall because the local funeral homes don't have any more capacity. Where is this? Madrid, Spain. Right now we are the most affected country in Europe after Italy. Link. Night times com slash reuta slash 2020 slash 03 slash 23 slash world slash asia slash 23 reuters health core and avarice spain morgue html when colleges and k-12 schools closed that's not a light decision and the people making those calls are very educated i immediately knew things were about to hit the fan our country still hasn't done it i understand the reasoning but it's hard to watch My husband has type 1 diabetes and is working from home, so we kept the little plague carriers with us. Edit, I'm from Australia, which obviously should know better, yet here we are. Yeah, I'm a student teacher right now. My mum texted me earlier to say that I'm sure to get a job next year, 
Because all the teachers currently working who are over 50 slash diabetic slash have heart problems slash lung problems are going to die as a result of schools staying open. That was a cheery message. It's been real for me since hearing about Italy locking down. Because I've been in shorted situations before, namely Hurricane Katrina, but it got really real when I found out the guy across from me tested positive. And I was on the elevator with him last Monday, so that kinda blows. He's fine. Thankfully. Just in self-quarantine. But now with the pollen coming out and all, every little sniffle and scratch I feel in my throat has me convinced I'm getting the damn thing. This is me. Is it my allergies, or am I infecting everyone around me and gonna die? The rush of good feelings I get when I get some sniffles, but then realize I have a runny nose with it, not a common symptom, is pretty great. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.